Aha. There we go. Let's see. Close that. How about now? Do you hear me now? If you can hear me now, say something. Because I rely on you good people to tell me when... Aha! Uh -huh. I have to start all over. All right. Let me start. Actually, give me one second. I just turned the air conditioner on. Um, but it's been so long since I've live streamed, I completely forgot how to do it. So I apologize. Anyway, as I said earlier, and which none of you heard, I will repeat it. Um, this big old thing here, this big old bubble wrap package thing, is the contents of the boomerang box. And the boomerang box is a project started by John Dillard uh, earlier this year where he came up with the idea of putting in items uh, into a box unique to him and, uh, and his artwork and mailing that box to other artists on YouTube and then having them share it forward uh, to other artists until the box got filled with various items and materials unique to various artists on YouTube. And then at the end, having that, that box filled with cool stuff Having that given away to one random person uh, on uh, you know who watches YouTube, um, the idea was just basically to help promote channels by by having various channels include things in the box, and then uh, each channel would make a video showing them opening the box, explaining the project, and then you know you know sharing it forward to 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 the next artist. I've gotten the, the box now um, from Marsupial Gamer. And I don't know what's in here because I'm just opening it now. I got I got the box last month, and once I realized what was in it, that it was the boomerang box, I, I just stopped and said, oh, yeah, I'm not going to open it until you know until I actually do a live stream showing it. So um, that's what I'm doing now. And because it's my birthday, I consider this my birthday present. I would like to keep it because it's filled with cool stuff, but I can't. So I have to share this, uh, uh, to, to, uh, you know, this send this to the next person. I don't even know who the next person is on the list. I'm going to have to ask John. But I'm opening it now, live for all you people. So we'll find out together what's inside of it. Uh, and hopefully the mic's working now. Hey, John Dillard's here. He says, wait, I'm on my way. <laughs> Eric Hawkins says, oh, I vaguely remember that. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks, Dee Dee. Dee says, happy birthday. So... Uh, I'm just gonna see. Hopefully, I can hear John when he shows up. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna crack it open. I'm not gonna wait for John Dillard because he might take another ten hours to get here. But this thing is well taped. Luckily, I have a blade to slice it open. I will try not to cut the bubble wrap too much. I'll try just to cut the uh, the plastic, and uh, hopefully, oh, oh, there we go. I can get this on camera. Huh. Now I know how the comic spirit felt when I sent him all that artwork that was. Oh, here we go. Not too bad. Here we go. Let me see if I can. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Because I'm afraid I'll damage it. Okay, here we go. Oh, cool. There's an actual cool box inside here. Can I just slide this out? I'm going to try to just slide it out and. Oh, bubble wrap pop. Hmm. 
Let's put it on its end. Let's see if I can't at least get one end out. So, and if like nails on a chalkboard bother you, I apologize for all this squeaky, screechy sounds. So, like that, like that. That is driving you crazy. Turn down your volume. Oh, here we go. It's coming out. Okay, so each person's ah oh, neat. Each person has signed it, uh, and uh, let's see. John Malin has put his little graveyard shift sticker there. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. yeah, you can see it. I think. Let me zoom in a little. Bim Marie's here. How you doing, Bim Marie? Um, Mrs. Robinson probably hates watching you open gifts. I just rip them apart. Um, hey, Doc, John Dillard's here. Hold on. My God, you don't pay attention to your chat at all. No, I don't. Hold on one second. Please hold. Let me move you to the side where you belong. Let's see. Um, Why are you always trying to put baby in a corner? Doggone it. Let's see. I want to. I want to give the boomerang box full. Full uh, screen credit. Hold on. I guess that's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Anyway, let me zoom in so people can see the box and the contents. Like I said, I haven't even looked at this thing yet, so. I, I saw you just open it now, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, advance, zoom. All right, that's good. All right. So, John Malin has uh, signed it. Mutt has signed it. Mutt Man. It looks like John Malin even drew a picture of his character on there, his, uh, his graveyard shift hero. Does he smoke? The graveyard shift hero? I Who doesn't I... smoke? Only the coolest of people smoke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and uh, you got John Malin, John Dillard, you got Mutt Man. I don't know who. Marsupial Gamer is here. He signed it. And then someone down here in Australia signed it. And I guess they're each marking where they live. Although John Malin does not live in, in Russia. I can confirm so. that John Malin does, in fact, live in northern Russia. He does live in r northern Russia? Okay. okay. Yes. That explains the... Uh, Mutt the Man does life. live in the Arctic Ocean. Okay. I just want to make sure. At least that, that explains the beanie that John's always wearing. It's cold in uh, Siberia. So, um, All right. I'm going to open it up. Oh, the metal signed it also. And the metal apparently lives in Antarctica. So... There you nobody, go. Nobody lives in Antarctica. That's it's a fake right place. There. It's right here. The it's metal. a fake I, place. The, 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 the earth is flat. It's right there. He lives in the, in the in, what is it called? The Savage Land? That's in Antarctica, isn't it? Yeah. So he's oh, there probably, you go. Yeah. He's hanging out with dinosaurs and stuff. All right. Let me move this up. Oh, great. More, more bubble wrap. This whole thing oh, just filled with God. bubble wrap. Is that like, is this a joke that you're just saying bubble wrap to people all around the planet? All right. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, this is from the metal. This is Ex Dynamis Chaos, which is uh, the metal's, I guess it's his book. Mm -hmm. It's a prose book, I guess. Oh, neat. Very nice. Yeah, so he has a series of comics, and this is the where they all come from, his, his, his novel. Oh, nice. Very cool. Is this signed? I don't see it. I don't see any. It doesn't look signed, know. but it feels try, nice. Try looking at the inside cover. Maybe it's signed. I did. There's nothing here. Yeah, uh, maybe but it's that is, invisible disappearing, reappearing. Ink. It could be. He could have signed it in like lemon juice. I had to hold it up to the light, the light of a full moon, um, and, and during mid while standing on one leg. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, very cool. I had no idea. I, I knew he did comic books. I didn't know they actually wrote books. Cool. Very nice. Oh, and and the comic book that based on the book is in here too. Very nice. So. Look this is from that. the metal. So if so, you guys want to get into the metal and what he's all about, his first act is right there. All right. We got Hero, Blood of Patriots. This is from Mutt Man. This is his comic book. Very nice. He threw in a whole comic book? Yeah. Not just part of it. A full, full comic book. I keep, tell I keep telling these guys, this, this boomerang box is for, like, swag and stickers, not whole damn books. 
Oh wow, well, he doesn't care what you say. And this it has stickers. Well, this is a patch. <laughs> he's got a patch. He's got uh, dog tags, and he's got original art inside. It looks like very cool. What? And a sticker. Oh man, dope. Nobody listens to you, John. Very cool. What's this? I didn't even see that. Mutt Man doesn't he didn't even make a, a damn video. <laughs> oh, posters too. Very nice. Wait a uh, minute. Look at that. I have that. I have that. See, that poster is supposed to be exclusive to people because remember when Hero first came out, yeah. it didn't fund. Okay. I and it, you only got this poster if you backed it the second time. Yeah. And you were also one of the original backers. Oh well. Now someone else can get it. Cool. Nice stuff. Very cool. Let's see here. What else is in here? Oh, another poster. Very cool. That's a nice one. I like that. Very nice colors. Hmm. Very nice. Oh. I keep hearing how hard it is to get blue, electric blue, to come yep. out correctly in comic books for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe they, uh, I don't know, maybe they have it in the wrong format. Maybe they have it in like CMYK instead of RGB or vice versa. I don't know. Um. Oh, cool. Graveyard shift. Very nice. Oh, one and two. He made a, oh, neat. I know they made like a trade paperback with both of them. Very nice. John Malin's graveyard shift. Very, very cool. Signed, of course. And let's see. I have a little note here. It says, feel free to read slash look, but please leave all copies for the winning fan. Thanks, John. And what is this? Well, it's taped, so I don't want to. Well, what is it? <laughs> he taped something up. And I can't see what's in it. Um, well, what it is, is, it's his entire run of Youngblood that he was working on. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. All, all of it signed. Oh, wow. Uh, hopefully, I won't I won't uh, forget to put this back in the box. Hopefully. Before I mail, before I mail it back to, to whoever's next in line. Hopefully, this won't get lost in my studio and, uh, you know, never to be seen by anyone else other than me again. <laughs> That'd be a shame. But yes, yeah. oh cool! Someone gets an entire run of uh, John Mailer's Young Blood. Awesome! What is this? This looks cool. Oh wow! What the heck is this? This is like is this a zombie or a vamp? Uh, it's a vamp. It's a zombie. Zombie book. It looks like it's drawn by um, what's his name? Narwhal. Is it? Do you I know what I'm talking about? This. What is this? That looks like uh, yeah, that back cover. I don't know if that's a, a nar. It does look like a narwhal piece, but. Uh, that may be from Adam Post. Oh, it the is. Mermaids. Yeah, I'm looking at the edge. It says Adam Post, uh, College of the Dead, too. Graduation day. Okay, cool. Wow, that art's great. Wow. I really like that. Very nice. And I assume this is also College of the Dead. Maybe this is one. No, it's book two. Gradu I guess this is different. just uh, uh, variant covers. Cool. Graduation day. Cool. Very nice. Well, happy birthday, Jiminy Cricket. I'm sorry? Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm getting old. So, Another variant cover. Very nice artwork. Oh, ouch. Oh, that's horrible. But it's great artwork. Oh, she doesn't seem that upset about eat, getting eaten alive. She seems to be pretty... Uh, pretty okay with it yeah her face is kind of like oh you brought chinese i thought we were yeah right exactly Mexican. meanwhile like her hands missing here both her arm being eaten all the way up to the elbow this one's taking a chunk out of her leg she's like ah i, I thought wanna... zombies ate brains yeah they're saving the brains for last like dessert so <laughs> it's working her working away to the creamy filling i guess um <laughs> this girl up here is like in her neck ripped out she's like ah you look different in your profile pic. <laughs> like mild disappointment as they're getting eaten alive. Uh, it's so, very difficult to to make attractive girls in writhing in pain. It's uh, it doesn't really go well together. It's not hard. Actually, it's it's, it's kind it's kind of fun. That's the fun part of drawing horror. Um, 
Oh, this is cool. What is this? This is, oh, this is book one. Okay, cool. Adam Post, College of the Dead. Very nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Called by Kyle Ritter. Joshua Hughes is in the chat, and he's wishing you a happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much, Joshua Hughes. I appreciate it. Awesome. Wow. Oh, man. Adam Post has put a lot of stuff in here. What is this? Right? Dang. Adam Post and Malin, dude, they took up half this damn box. Yeah, no wonder it's so heavy. It's got like 50 pounds worth of comics in here. Wow. So he, he put in uh, five trade paperbacks. Wow. Okay. Whoever gets this is going to be very, very happy. It's a lot of content. And I don't, uh, uh, in case in case I didn't mention it the second time around when I, uh, when, <laughs> when I first, I was talking for like five or 10 minutes. And I didn't have my mic on, so nobody heard what I was saying. But in case the second time around, I, I forgot to mention, in order to be in the running to win all this cool stuff, you need to go to the link in my description of this video, which it, which goes to John John Diller's original video about the boomerang box, and type in, type in a comment on John Diller's video. And then that will put you in the running. I think you, you have, to, have to subscribe to your channel. Is that right, John? That's correct. Okay, so go to that link in the description, subscribe to John Diller's channel, and then also post a post a comment on that video, and then you'll be automatically in the running to win all this cool stuff, including this really awesome original drawing of the buckler by the aforementioned John Dillard. Look at that. that I've is... been called a lot of things. There's been a lot of adjectives thrown around to describe me. Never have I been called aforementioned. Yes. Well, now you have. Now you can die happy. Um, look at this. I might, I might accidentally lose this as well, along with uh, John Malin's uh, series of comics. Well, the, the box is coming back to me. If, there's, if, if I have to replace something, I'll replace something. Okay, uh, cool. I just don't like people taking from other people's stuff unless they put something in of equal or greater value. I'm just letting you know ahead of time that some things might get lost. Some of the cooler items might get lost in my home before it gets sent back to you. I'm just giving you full warning. Now, what uh, is this? Well, the this box is not coming to me directly. Okay. Who, who Box gets, uh, after who gets, you. Yeah, who gets it next after? Who would I send it Is to? going to Rick Piper of Cross. Oh, Rick, oh, oh, thanks. Oh, my gosh. I got to send this 50-pound box. Now, Canada. if you have problems at the post office. I will have pro I'll have problems and with you, my wallet. And you, and you need a little bit of help sending it postage, you hit me up and let me know how much, and I'll send you the money PayPal. Oh, my gosh. This is going to cost me be like a mortgage payment send this thing to I just told you that I would cover it if you need me to. Fine. Send me a thousand bucks. That should cover it. I'm not sending you shit. Uh, see? You already went back on your word. Hmm. I want re I want a receipt. Uh-huh. Live. You just heard it, folks. I want you a photograph me, of a receipt. Cover it, and then he said, I'm not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thousand Bucks. I'm not paying hey, for man. your child support. Shh. Huh. Be cheaper. Child support would be cheaper than sending this to Canada. Um. Oh, cool. It's a poster of the buckler. Oh, oh, that's oh, it's a series of posters. Let me open each one of them up so you guys can look. Ooh, the buckler descent. I don't want to mess this up, but can you guys see that? Look at that. The buckler right there, descent. And then you have John Diller's tortured anti-hero here at the bottom. Can you see that? There you go. He's like, oh, man. Well, you mispronounced a uh, villain. It's pronounced villain. Is he a villain? I thought he was an anti-hero. No, he's not an anti-hero. Stop okay. it. No, he's an anti-hero, folks. So, John Diller's anti-hero here um, is is tortured because of all the things that John Diller puts him through in this comic book. So, is this is this still available? Is this still in demand? Yes, it's still in demand. Not The Descent. The Descent was the ash can. Okay, gotcha. But The Buckler That's no itself, longer available. The, the current book is called what? The Buckler what? The Buckler Book One Ascendancy. Okay, gotcha. Um, I will post a link to that campaign after this live stream. So anyone watching later on, go just you'll be able to look into the uh, description of this video, and I'll have a link to uh, 
John Diller's current Buckler campaign, so you guys can all check it out and buy a copy. But it's, it's I mean, the art, artwork is very awesome. Um, I can't speak about John's writing. His writing might be horrible, but his artwork is at least pretty to look at. So it's probably worth getting just for the pictures. <laughs> Whatever, right. Jiminy. That's what? I'm just saying. Um, oh, cool. Here's, here's a, you got, I guess he has three posters in here. Here's the second poster. Oh, this one's awesome. This is the cover for his book. It is, it, this is, John Dillard, he does like such cool artwork. It's like photorealistic. Just I, I, I got it. There we go. Now you can see it. Look at that. That's like. I mean, you look at John Dillard, you would never think he's capable of this stuff. You, it's like that guy. God damn it, Jim. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> I mean, despite your looks, you're actually pretty talented. Look at this artwork. Do I look that untalented? I don't know. You're not. You, you, yeah, you don't look like you're capable of this level of. Here's the thing: skill. people that are super talented rarely come with good looks. Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, look at Snoop Dogg. This guy is the most talented Emmer ever around, and that guy is butt ugly. Snoop Dogg? Uh, I don't think he's that talented. Um, <laughs> now look at this. This is cool. Winnipeg. Look at that. that yeah, is... that's the uh, that's the arrival of the buckler back to his hometown, Winnipeg. Yeah. And, uh, it's a double splash page. I made it into a poster. That's awesome. That's beautiful work, John. And of course, it's signed by John Dillard. So whoever wins this will get several signed. Super posters by John Dillard, and uh, they are super posters. This ain't no, uh, this ain't your mama's cardstock. That's some, those are some beefy boys. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty. Uh, just feeling the uh, quality is pretty. What? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Very nice. And then uh, John also includes some of some of his personal berets or what are these hair ties that he wears? You know, for yeah, sometimes, man bun. sometimes at my age, I need a little assistance. You know. Yeah, yeah. He uses these for his man buns, but uh, you know. Uses this to uh, include these as well. Sometimes, uh, you know, in, in my age, a man of my age, you know, you need those. <laughs> you need those rings to maintain, you know, thing. Okay, I I don't know what you mean, but I will I will let it go. I don't want to delve too too much into it. Um, <laughs> for fear of what you may say. Um, and this is um, Cult of Raven. Is this from Pope Raven? No, this is the Cult of Raven. This is the cult that I belong to. I know. oh, so you put this in here. Yes. Okay. okay. This was a this was a this was a group project by me and everybody in the Cult of Raven. Right. I remember this because um, this was I a want, coloring book. Yeah, I remember this because I think what's his name's uh, my drawing of Nasser Zombie Nasser's in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Let me find it. Oh, nice, Gary Shipman. Ah, oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah. It, oh, this is very cool. Yes, another another dues paying member, uh, Gary Shipman. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Avery Butterworth. Who is that? That's awesome artwork. You don't know Avery Butterworth? He's in Florida, just like you. Really? Huh? He never calls. Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, he's a great artist. Yeah. Wow. He hangs out with the uh, with the guy that does the uh, the other hero comic book that that little furry character. Uh, which one is that? Uh, what's his name? Oh, I forget his name. He's talking about um ah. Uh, not Tim Lim. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Andrew. Andrew. Um, what's his last name? No. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know. They're like best friends. Him, Andrew, and and Avery are like best friends. They do streams together. Oh, cool. Okay. Nighthawk Warrior. Cool. Nice. Very nice. And Nighthawk Warrior has a pumpkin in there. Yeah. Uh, EA Crespo. I'm not mm -hmm. familiar with him, but that's very nice artwork. Oh, Elric Huga. Cool. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, there it is. Zombie Nasser. <laughs> there's, there's Jason just trying to blow everybody out of the water again. Yeah. Um, well, you know. I figure you're Didi right says, there. didn't y'all sell this color book on Amazon a couple of years ago? Seems yeah, like you, I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bought it on Amazon even though you made it. <laughs> cool. Oh, nice. Rick Piper again. Tom Mulroney. Yeah, we try to do this like super cheap, right? We're like, yeah, let's put out a coloring book and we'll put it oh, on Amazon at cost. Nice. Yeah, I think I think it ended up being like five bucks. 
because oh, I think cool. on Amazon you have to put at least like thirty percent profit on there. Uh huh. Yeah. So we we set it for like I think it was like three ninety or something, and we we had to add on the one dollar or something, so we ended up being like five bucks. So it's basically at cost, you know, like whatever yeah. it costs them to print it and send it to you. Mm hmm. Ah, very cool. Pixel Trader, nice. Ah, uh, the Buckler. Ah, uh, stealing candy from kids. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, awesome. Very, very cool. It's, it's great stuff. Some blank pages to draw on. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Now, a few other things in here. Got some buckler trading cards. If you want, if you want, you can do this. Um, I've asked everybody else not to, but if you want, yeah, you can, on the back of the buckler trading cards. Yeah. You can keep one if you want to. There's plenty in there. Mm -hmm. uh, same with my business cards. You can keep a couple of those. But okay. um, the back has the buckler's real name. Ah. So if you want to know what that is. Ah, nice. Holy crow. He's just almost as tall as uh, Duck to Nable. What the frick? Oh, yes, he is. He's, he's, <laughs> a, he's a beefy boy. <laughs> what? Man. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Very, very nice. Is this all the same design? I, I Man, I love that. It's so... Ah, yeah, okay. I'm going to keep one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? You said I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking one. Whoever wins this doesn't need all 20 of these cards. He won't miss that's, it. That's that's true. Just don't tell him. If you don't tell him, he won't know. Do I need your card? Nah, I know where to find you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know where you hang out. Cool, cool, Because cool. the business cards are for everybody else. Like, you know, so everybody, every all the artists and all the creators can have each other's cards. And stuff okay, like I'll that. take one. Fine. What is that What is that card in the bottom stack with the this blue? This one? This is uh Mar this is the medals. Oh, cool! Yeah, I didn't you didn't see that. One? No, I I mean I, oh, yeah, I'm got, the first yeah, one yeah, in the book in there after you sent it off. So I'll take one of the medals too. Leave right. me one because I want one when it gets back to me. I'm, I'm gonna take all of them. How about that? Don't take all of them, Jim. Yeah. Here, I'll leave you one. Hopefully, Rick Piper won't take it when he gets it. All oh, right. God, Rick Piper's gonna take everything. <laughs> All right. The Glacier Mountain Comics, who is also known as Dario Hernandez, uh -huh. is telling me to speak for myself because he's incredibly attractive and talented. Aha, uh -huh, see? Ah, oh, cool. And a bunch of stickers. You got the Buckler, and you got Scrabattle versus, and you got the little Don, John Diller Draws sticker in there as well. Okay. So I can't see it. Show it. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, he had it super low. What? It wasn't even on camera. There you go. See it? Screw battle. You got the buckler. There we go. Right there. And then I have to open this thing. Come on. John. Let me open it. John stops complaining. All right. What's in here? You got Screw battle, which is John's uh, sort of uh, game show for artists. You got uh, his John Diller draws. I mean, look at that face. I mean, this, is this the face of someone who looks like he's talented? Not really, but he is. Well, that's not my actual face. I know, that's but a, it's, it's, it's actually, a drawing, it's, it's, it's Jim. I know I'm working. really good, but it's, it's better it is a drawing. Than the actual face, so, yeah. Shut up. Um, what's this? This is all stuck together. What's this? The Cursed Comics. And I guess this, these are all just stickers that are stuck together, so. You see that sticking together is what's that? Is that a chicken? What is that? That is a chicken, yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a rooster. It's a rooster, it doesn't look too good. Well, if you get the uh, if you ever got a hold of the ash can of the buckler, the uh, the descent, uh huh, on the inside cover is a little uh, uh, prose that I wrote, and that kind of explains the chicken logo. Okay, here's uh, some buckler stickers here. 
And uh, finally, a little torso shot of the buckler. Oops, there we go. Oh, there we go. Cool. That's great. Very cool. Now, I have to put some cool stuff in here as well. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to put in a copy of a signed copy of Secret Comics Presents Once Nasser Sends Me, um, you know, my comp copies. And then I will also do a, a drawing in the inside of the book for the uh, person who wins it. So it will be my first signed comic ever. Um, oh, it'll be, wow. I know. It will be a collector's item. I know what I'm keeping when it comes back to me. No! Actually, it probably won't be worth anything, so you might as well keep it. <laughs> yeah, as uh, as as the creator originator of this boomerang box, I enjoy the the right of prima nocta. Ah, oh, the perk, and, yes. And I get to uh, to choose from every all the stuff that everybody puts in there. I, I might take something myself. Ah, yes. Like the kings of old who would sleep with uh, newlyweds' wives before the for the groom. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Shameful, John. Shameful. I expect nothing, nothing less from you. <laughs> so I want to know, what are you thinking? What are you thinking you're going to put in the box? I, I just told you. I'm going to put in a signed copy of Secret Comics Presents. So you're also going to put in a comic? Yes. Well, uh, there will be signed. Are you also going to be drinking a Diet Coke while you do it, uh, you basic bitch? Uh, Diet Coke? I don't like Diet Coke. It's nasty. So no. <laughs> What creative and fun thing are you going to put in the box? Secret Comics Presents. Uh, and I'll have a drawing inside of it. I'll be drawing something. So, oh? Yes. Well, that's cool. So something something appropriately spooky. So is that is that is that creative enough, or do I need to put something else in it? I don't know. Is that all you can think of? Uh, I will think of something to put in the box. But it won't be too heavy because I have to mail this thing to Timbuktu where, uh, you know, Rick Piper is. So, but that is a, that's a boomerang box. So I encourage everybody watching this video, this live stream now or in the future to run on over to John Diller's channel. Click the link in the description. Go to that video. Make sure to subscribe to John Diller's channel and then... Make sure to post a comment in the comment section so that you will be on the running. Uh, do, when do you think you're going to um, – after Rick, how many people are left to uh, – There's three more people after Rick. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, sometime in probably the year 2025, John Dillard will – Well, it's not my fault that Marsupial Gamer had this <laughs> damn box for two months and then you had it for one month. My <laughs> God. <laughs> I thought you guys were supposed to be professionals around here. <laughs> you can give us a deadline. So it went it went through like it went through like everybody else in a matter of a month and a half, and you guys had it for three months total. Hey, well you better start setting some limits. Otherwise we're just gonna take our sweet old time getting this thing to the next person. You old people, I don't understand it. Hey, I, well I am old. I said my birthday. I'm 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 oh my I'm in my I'm on my second century now, John. So Oh my god. I know. I don't move as fast as I used to. If you live 10 more years, you'll be as old as Norm MacDonald when he died. Oh, man. That's cold. Dang, John. Oh. You should be so lucky. I know. I, if, if I became as well-known as Norm MacDonald, I would die happy. Um, <laughs> I didn't say well-known. I just said same age. That's fine, too. Um, don't forget to sign this box. Is that sign the box too? Yeah, okay. Who else has signed the box? Is, any, is there any signatures anywhere else on the box? Well, it has a number of signatures already. It has. Uh, let's see. No, it's just on the uh, on the on the front, which is fine. I mean, you got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six signatures. So. Is anyone missing? Do you send? Have ten people ha gotten it so far? So marsupial gamer put nothing in the box. Um, I think he did. He um, what did he put in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What did marsupial gamer put in the box? You got hero. That's not him. 
Um, Hero posters. That's not him. That's you. That's Adam Post. What else is that's John Malin. Hey, Jeff Potts is here. What's up, Jeff Potts? Jeff Potts. How you doing, Jeff Potts? I guess it, maybe he didn't. Because <laughs> I don't everything everyone everyone else is This account. fool had it for two months and didn't put anything in it. Well he he signed it. So I mean maybe it took him a while to you know find a pen. <laughs> I'm gonna DM this fool right now. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, let me sign it now, live from New York. Um, well, I can't. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me. You should throw in one of those packs of Bristol in there, so I, I need some Bristol. <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll fit. This is a by 14. Will it fit? Probably not. Ah. Barrel. Nah, it won't. Ah, sorry. It's a little too wide. Otherwise. Damn it. Damn, damn it. All right. Otherwise, you would have helped the brother out, right? I would have, but it won't fit, so tough luck. Um. All right. I'll sign it here. I am in Florida. So, let me wink right there. That's my location, roughly, and then sign it. There we go. <laughs> Draw a picture of a gator. <laughs> I'm gonna need a small <laughs> pen. Gonna need a smaller pen than this to do that. I understand. Some people just don't got the talent. I, I get it. Sorry, I'm no John Dillard, so, but I am prettier. So, <laughs> all right. Jeff so, says you're on. Gary's on. Chester is on. Great, Scott. I tried to find a day when everybody wouldn't be on, and it's, it's just not possible anymore. All right, now let me. Shove all this frickin' bubble wrap back in the box so it's not cluttering up my entire studio here. Well, I'm sorry, my inconvenient boomerang box is cluttering up your studio. It is. Oh, my gosh. It's all it's so neat and tidy in here. <laughs> not. Uh, um, DD, if he does that, I'm going to take all the stuff he puts in out and just throw it in the trash. What did he say? She wants you to draw a man bun on my sticker. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. Eric Hawkins. <laughs> Eric you, Hawkins Dee Dee. says marsupial maybe added the bubble wrap. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, he could have. He added extra bubble wrap. So, don't be drawing no, no. Don't black out my teeth. Don't draw no mustache. Oh, well, this this little. There we go. Since you put you put uh put those hair ties in there, so you get the. Figure they must be for something. There we go. There we go. How's that? It looks terrible. Looks pretty good. And look, you're drawing over it before it's dry, which means it's going to look even worse. Shut up. Yeah, this just looks that. like I'm wearing like an elf hat now. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, that's Boomerang Box. Everybody, go uh, go and uh, subscribe to John and partake of it. Hopefully, you will win. And, I'll take uh, that. Didi says that I look like a samurai now. Yeah. yeah I was gonna say you look sort of like a uh, a Ronin that uh, no one. I wins. love. With the laws of Bushido. Yeah, mm. I'm super dope now. Thank you. <laughs> so you think. Um, okay, what else do I have? Oh, I have, I have an actual gift I got for, for my birthday. I got this for my mom. Look at this. Successful drawing. 
So apparently she doesn't think I'm successful enough or at all. So she got me this book to help me learn how to be successful. Well, I mean, <laughs> she knows you better than anybody else, right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, maybe if you read this book, you'll stop asking me for money every third month. Uh, that's not my fault. <laughs> Things are tight. <laughs> No, this is, this is by Andrew Loomis. Andrew Loomis is a very famous illustrator. From Maybe the- if you become a successful artist, we could have Christmas at your house. Hey, man. I'm doing my best. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I've i loved his books for, for years. But um, this is the actual, first actual book of his that, that I ever got. Um, I have a number of, of, of his books, but they're not actual books. They're... <laughs> The books I got from the, I found at the library decades ago, but because they were out of print at the time, I ended up going to Kinko's and I photocopied them. So I have a lot of his books, <laughs> but they're all photocopied. Um, and then believe and then, me, uh, I, I understand. Yeah, and then I had them uh, had them bound. So great, like I said, great artist, great illustrator. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I, I finally have an actual book. They put the books back in print, maybe about eh, between five and ten years ago. But because I had most of the books already, I just didn't bother, bother getting them. I didn't have this book, so I was very pleasantly surprised to uh, to have gotten it in the mail. Uh oh, he's not politically correct. Who cares? Well, great, you know what? I, I'm very happy that you got a book that that you enjoyed i mean how how rare is it once you you know once you become an adult to get a birthday present that you actually enjoy and want yeah 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 it's very very cool oh Uh, you know other than socks everybody loves socks. you know what seriously my mom only sends me socks i would that's why i was shocked because i was expecting either socks or briefs that's it that's because like people uh, no people make jokes like oh you know it, you know if you're a dad or something you're an adult you, you get a man socks yeah it's like oh Elaine present dude socks mm-hmm. are great yeah, yeah. <laughs> socks are I'm, I'm I get disappointed when I have a birthday and I don't get socks oh stop it uh, I'm serious no and, and this oh this 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 is a great book because I have okay this is what makes this book so cool. Oh yeah, because your perspective is garbage. This is gonna help. Shut up. Um, but yeah, no, he co- <laughs> he, co- he covers perspective and like super super detail. Look at this diagonals and two point perspective. What the frick, the guys? This is like it's like brilliant stuff, but it's like it's like insane, insane perspective that he goes into and explains. Look at P money is is making a claim here. I don't know if it's true or not. He says, I was actually checking YouTube all yesterday to see if Jason came on to live stream so that I could wish him a happy birthday. And he never did this. He's making, he's making the boast that he knows you so well that he knows when your birthday is and was actively looking for you on your birthday to wish you a happy birthday. Yeah. He's a stalker. Yeah. Um, (laughs) But thanks be money. I appreciate it. Um, But I don't think, I don't think I was, I was hanging out on any, YouTube channels yesterday. I was uh, I was running around doing stuff. So you were enjoying your birthday. I was enjoying my birthday. I was having fun. It's my birthday. So I got this, which is very cool. <coughs> um, I also got comic book paper from my sister, so I can do more comic books, which was awesome. Wow. I know. Glacier Comics says I can't believe you wear socks in Cali. Way too hot. I thought yeah. you'd be about that chunkla life. No, I I wear socks and shoes. I don't wear chanclas i'm not a a child that wears flip-flops i also don't wear short pants (laughs) yes you do um you wait wear daisy dukes probably block blanches block para (laughs) comic and i got this in the mail so i'm gonna crack this open um this is from iconic comics and it's uh well this artwork is by matthew weldon it's awesome looking but the comic book inside is from uh, Tim Lim and Mark Pellegrini. And it I believe it's their latest issue. Is it? All right. So oh. if you're done with this boomerang box, I'm going to yeah. get out of here. Hey, man. I'm not I, 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 I really don't care about your personal life. I don't care. Uh, you got you better stay. Um, and uh, let me crack this open. 
really fast before John Dora takes off. Hold on. P Money is telling Eric Hawkins, I just say big deal if my socks have holes in them. Everybody out there will see me in shoes anyway. How do you how does this open? Oh, there it is. I was like they really sealed this. All right, got that. Got that. And you ever have a new like a, I had I got my wife this present right because every I have a little tradition around yeah. Thanksgiving time. Uh huh. That I buy her, but that's when Christmas socks go on sale, right? Those those corny, cheesy Christmas socks. I buy her a butt ton of socks, enough socks to last her to the new year, wearing a new pair every day, and they're cheap socks, right? What? That's a lot of socks. Yeah, but I'll go to like I'll go to like the Dollarama or like whatever. Um, Target will have like bundles of socks for like five bucks or whatever for like uh-huh. ten pair, and I'll buy a bunch so she'll have you know sixty pairs of socks. So that way she can wear a pair of socks and just toss them every single day. That sounds wasteful, but <laughs> no, dude. She's ex- every day throughout the entire Christmas season. She's extraordinarily happy. Wow. Okay. Good. Well, that's 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 what's most most important. As long as she's happy. Oh, cool. This is a. Oh, I know what this is now. It is Soul Finder. It's the newest. Uh... The Doug book. Yeah, it's uh, Doug Ernst and Matthew Weldon, drawn by Matthew. See you later, Weldon. Glacian. Huh? I'm telling Glacier Mountain Comics goodbye. He's leaving. You're not reading your chat, so I'm telling him goodbye for you. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sorry, my com- computer's all the way on the other side, so I can't really read my chat. I apologize. If only everybody. computers didn't weigh 7 million pounds. You could move it. Yeah, that is true. Um, I don't have a laptop. I have, I have a desktop, and it's uh, it does weigh about 50 billion t- tons. So, um, Yes, it's written by Doug, Doug Ernst. This one's drawn by Matthew Weldon. I'm not sure. I think did Tim Lim draw this cover? I'm not sure. Mm. Um, and it's colored by uh, Brett R. Smith. And it's uh, Soul Finder Black Tide. I got the first one. It was very good. Ooh, Brett R. Smith. I like his stuff. Yeah. So um, this is the second issue of Soul Finder. And it's about uh, sort of. I have to go. Things. You have to go? I do have to go. I, I do have kids that, like, my wife is sick and I got to go watch these kids. I'm sorry. You didn't tell me she was sick. Get out of here. I'll kick you out. I care more about my wife than I care about listening to you oh, uh, blather on about your personal life. And why are you still here? Get out of here. Hey, thanks for showing up, John. I appreciate it. Everybody, Bye. Go, go check out John Lillard's stuff, okay? Any, anywho, um, yeah, this is Soul Finder and uh, second issue. Great series. I look forward to opening this up and reading it and enjoying it. So, um, yeah. So that is uh, – those are my unboxings for today. Um, I got Soul Finder, and I got this awesome, cool boomerang box, which I will uh, – well, I'm going to have to wait to get the uh, the comic books for Secret Comics Presents from Nasser, and then I will um, sign it, do a drawing in it, and then put that in the box and then mail it off to the next person on the list, and that will be Rick Piper up in Canada. So that is for another day. But actually, let me move this up to my drawing table because I'm going to be doing a drawing, um, an illustration, not a uh, – not a raffle drawing, but an illustration. Because, as some of you know, I just finished drawing Secret Promise Presents, a horror anthology. And uh, in order to raise money for the book, uh, to print the book, we, uh, yeah, we did, you know, we sold the comic book, and we also sold original pages from the comic book, and uh, we also sold um, original art commissions of the character of people's choice so you know if you wanted uh you know me to draw superman i would draw superman for a certain price blah 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 and so i'm doing uh i'm gonna be drawing some of those commissions or at least one tonight and uh you know get that done so i'm gonna be drawing let's see what 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 was the list of characters they wanted drawn one person wanted wants a drawing of nasser (laughs) <laughs> the uh, the writer of the book. I wanted, to, I wanted a drawing of Nasser wearing a Sword Rage t-shirt. Um, one person wants a drawing of Vas- Vas- Vasquez 
um, from uh, from Aliens. Um, so Vasquez, Vasquez, Nasser, um, one person wanted Colossus from the X Men. Uh, Power Girl, that was P Money's request. He wanted a drawing of Power Girl. Um, there was what was the fifth one? I think there were six people. Oh, one was um, uh, uh, Ethan Vasquez wanted a drawing, but he said surprise me. So I have to think of something to draw for Ethan. So that's five. And I think there's one more drawing that someone wanted. I can't remember what it is, though. Uh, give me a second. I think it is... Uh, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Ah, yes. Gunslinger Spawn. And I didn't even know that there was a... Uh, like a Western version of Spawn, but apparently there is a Gunslinger Spawn, and someone wanted a drawing of that character. So um, yeah, I'm going to be working on at least at least one of them tonight, and you guys can watch while I draw. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's that'll be enough for tonight. What time is it? It's ten o'clock. Um, a little after 10, so if you don't mind hanging out and watching me draw, I'll do that, and uh, I should probably look at the chat and see what people are saying, since I pretty much, I pretty much have ignored the chat for the entire live stream. Uh, actually, is my it has finally given up the ghost my poor tablet. So, tablet is dead. Um, so I'm going to have to go over to my computer, look at it, and hopefully you guys can hear me and uh, see what you guys are saying. Uh, Alright. Let me pop out the chat so I can actually see what people are saying. Drag it down. All right, I missed a bunch of stuff. I can't go through all of it, but let's see. Eric Hawkins is laughing that I have to send this huge 20 pound box to Canada. Thank you very much, Eric Hawkins. I appreciate your, your uh, I'm glad I made you happy. Um, <laughs> let's see, I do the man bun, that's done. Um, Uh, Dee Dee said that was fun. She enjoyed it. Good. I'm glad you guys all enjoyed it. Let's see. I think I got everything. Okay. Cool. Good, good, good. All right. I'm going to start drawing. And uh, let's see. Again, I wish that I, I know, I will get my phone so I'll be able to hopefully see. I'll use my phone in lieu of my tablet dying. Uh, I will use my phone, and hopefully that will enable me to uh, see what people are saying. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. All right, that's very bright. That's very bright. Now to change this to the drawing stream, there we go. That way it's less, less blinding. All right, got that. Move my dead tablet out of the way. That aside, move my phone over, see if my phone works. Is it charged? It's somewhat charged. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. And uh, 
make sure that the YouTube's works and make sure yes Wi-Fi is working that does okay ah, messed up there we go all right and All right. Now, how do I put that? Put that. How do I get the? Oh, there we go. Bam. I got the chat. I got the chat, and five people are watching. That's awesome. All right. Now, all I have to do is center this. So, let's see. Papers here. Turn that like that. Oh, yay! You can see the paper now. Make sure that. Oh, is that centered? It's kind of centered. There we go. Almost. Yay! It worked! Yay! I did it! Okay. Now, what should I draw? Hmm. I, okay, I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna let you guys decide. There are five people watching. You have a choice between me drawing Nasser wearing a Soy Rage t Soy Rage T-shirt or Colossus. Which one do you guys want me to draw? And I gotta turn down the volume because apparently, there we go. I see no comments. No one's saying anything. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, D says Vasquez, Vasquez from Aliens. Um, Eric Hawkins says Nasser Story Rage. Okay, the choice tonight is between Colossus and Nasser Story Rage because Vasquez, I'm going to have to look, at, look for reference for her. I mean, I know she looks like in my head, but... I don't have like a you know photographic memory of what she looks like, um, and she she's a actual actress, so I kind of I kind of need reference in order to draw her properly. Oh, okay. D says okay, Nasser then. Oh wow, okay. People want me to draw Nasser. Okie dokie. Draw Nasser. Huh. Now, let me think. Nasser, Nasser. I have. I know. Hold on. I have a. I have some images of Nasser. But I need to. Uh, I need to get them on my phone. They're on my computer. Um, YouTube commissions Nasser. All right. Okay, I moved the Nasser photos to Dropbox, and I can access Dropbox on my phone. So I will do that. 
actually let me increase the brightness on my phone so I can see and uh, actually I'm gonna put on some of my funky music so apologies in advance hmm do, 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 do. menu boink Hey P Money, how you doing? Glad you're back. And I'm gonna be drawing Nasser. Nasser wearing a Soy Rage t shirt. Alright, so let me see here. Let me get to uh, Dropbox. Nasser. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Somebody says, shouldn't he be wearing the soy rage socks? Well, this is only a t these are only torso drawings, so um, you won't be able to see his socks. You assume that he's wearing um, the soy rage socks, though. So that is the assumption, but you will not actually see them.
DD says lots of hair. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. That is, uh, I think that's Noster's defining feature. Lots of hair. Money says, I thought Nostra's defining feature was as single as they come living in parents' basement. <laughs> Interesting. P. Money says, ooh, your next drawing should be Nostra with sword rage shirt versus zombie Nostra. Mm. Should I draw Nasher's nose? His nose is. Hmm. He has a goofy smile. So, Nash has been uh been bulking up. I think he's he started weightlifting or something because he's uh he's been he's been sort of mass bulking. So he, he's kind of he's kind of lost his neck <laughs> over the past three years. got just like massive amounts of hair. I get his eyebrows first. glasses.
Nostra's hair is, is interesting because his, when it's long, it's, it's really curly. It's very curly. But when it's, uh, when it's shorter, it's, uh, it's very neat. Like, I don't know if you guys can – hold on. I don't know if this is going to show up, but this, uh, uh, can you see that? I mean, that's Nasser with his hair fairly, his hair looks very neat there, you know? And his hair's still kind of long, but it's very neatly cut. And then when he gets his hair longer, it just like goes like completely like shaggy and and like super curly and permy. So uh, yeah, it's interesting. He got interesting hair. Somebody says, you don't want my opinion on how to draw Nostra. I, I would do my best to make it as ridiculous as possible. Hey, Alpha Proto, thanks for thanks for the birthday wish. I appreciate it. Hey, your birthday was on the 5th? Very cool. Yeah, a lot of people's birthday is in September. I'm, I'm realizing. Pimai says that Ruth's birthday was on, with this past um, Saturday. How your birthday, Ruth? Hope you had a great day. I hope Pimani got you exactly what you wanted and more than you deserved um ruth says happy birthday fellow virgo and i responded to her you and your evil pagan astrology gods <laughs> uh alpha pro says nostra face reveal well nostra's revealed his face plenty of times so it's not really a reveal it's a uh, you know it's just a reminder of why, you know, it's better that he don't show his face. <laughs> um, Alpha Pro says he likes the Beatles. Yeah, Nostra is a pretty big Beatles fan. So, which is ironic considering that he doesn't know that much about pop culture in general. I mean, he, he, he's apparently a fan of the Beatles, but, you know, he hasn't watched probably a good... 80% of the 80s movies out there. So it's kind of kind of odd. Jeff Potts says my wife and both of our both of my kids were born in September. Wow. Well, when you consider that if you're born in September, you were conceived around, you know, in January. I guess a lot of babies are conceived around New Year's, New Year's Day. So that probably explains it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ugh. Sorry, I need some water. Ah, much better. Oh. But anyway, let me get back to Nasser. Nasser and sort wearing a sort of age t-shirt. There we go. That's a better smile from Nasser. Dang, P-Money, you need to, you know, you're being a little too revealing. 
on a, <laughs> on a live stream. I won't even say that out loud for fear that Ruth might hear. <laughs> Pimai says, okay, I almost want you to leave Nostra bald in that picture. That was one of our secret comic schools. Yeah, I know. It's like if we if we had reached thirty thousand dollars, Nostra would have shaved his head. Uh, that was one of the stretch goals for Secret Comics Presents. But unfortunately, we never even passed we, we never even reached ten thousand, so Nostra never shaved his head. And that I thought that would that might motivate a lot of people to uh, to back the campaign just to see Nostra bald, but apparently not. But that's okay. That's okay. And uh, you know, I can't really make Nostra bald because without his hair, no one's really gonna know who it is. Um, and uh, you know, so I gotta give him a shaggy, shaggy top. What time is it? It's 10.30. I'm going to probably live stream until about, until about 11. And then, uh, if nothing else, I'll finish penciling this. And then I will continue working on it, um, I guess, tomorrow. And uh, try to go on from there. All right, there we go. Soy rage. What does? Huh. I guess I'm gonna have to Google it. I'm assuming that soy rage is on Google <laughs> somewhere. At least is a the graphic of his face. Soy rage. Oh, okay. It is on here. Oh, there he is, Soy Rage! Yay! I found him. There he is. Soy Rage! Yay! <sighs> 
Pardon me.
Um, hey, Dee Dee, you take care. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, P Money says, my favorite Nasser last James is when he puts Soy Rage in the description for the, for the last James and then says, who let you on? Yeah, right, seriously. Um, you, should, you should sell prints of these in the next Nasser campaign. It, I'd buy one. Okay. <laughs> does Nasser even know about this drawing? If not, can I be the one to tell him? Yeah, Nasser does know. He knows what everyone requested because they, they send a request to him. So um, he already knows that I'm drawing a picture of him wearing a Soy Rage t-shirt. Um, he doesn't know what the drawing looks like, um, but he knows what the subject is and that I am working on it. Uh, P. Mike says, I'm, I got to help put kids to bed if I don't get a chance later. Take care, man. Hey, thanks, P. Money. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and watching. And as you can tell, um, this is, uh, you know, it's Nasser sort of hugging himself, or rather, Soy Rage, on the t-shirt uh, he's wearing. So Nasser is very, very content because he's he's spending time with Soy Rage, even if he's only on the t-shirt, and he's hugging him. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. Sorry, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm kind of kind of faint. Um, I got this for for my birthday as well. Animal crackers. I, my mom sent me a uh, a twelve box, uh, a big box full with twelve of these sort of like handheld little animal cracker boxes because she knows I like them. So thanks, mom. My mom's the best. I gotta try to open it. Without spreading it all over the place, I know. I'll just, I'll just slice it open. See if I can do this without cutting myself. Oh my goodness! Slice through it like a hot knife through animal crackers. Look at that. That is, that is clean. Look at that. That's a clean cut for some animal crackers. Mmm, yum yum. What is this? This is zebra. I'm gonna eat the zebra first. Rawr. Ah, those are good animal crackers. Those are some good animal crackers. It's funny they call them animal crackers, but they're not actually animals, and they're not really crackers either. They're cookies. So, some might call that false advertising. But I really don't care. They taste good. I let it slide. All right. That's Nasser. And Soy Rage. Nasser and Soy Rage sitting in a tree. I'm not going to finish the rest because it creeps me out. I'm gonna put the old, the classic Fred Hembeck curly cues on Nasser's elbows because for some reason it seems appropriate. I used to love Fred Hembeck and uh, his strips in DC Comics. All right. 
right, there we go. There's still two people left. I haven't chased everybody away yet. I guess I'm not working hard enough. Um, <laughs> hold on, let me see. You have to work harder chasing everybody away. Um, all right. Now I've got my pens sort of lined up. Put that there. Move these sheets of paper out of the way so I have more room for drawing utensils. Aside, move aside, you pens. there that's good that's good that's good and actually move that there move this here that's better move that up so everything holds in place uh. make sure my eyes work they're working kind of sorta let me there we go. The brush. The brush pen. Oh, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button if you would. That would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully this is uh, focusing properly. need those cookies. I feel, I feel much more alert now that I've had some sugar in my brain. I keep hitting the uh, camera with my head, which is not good. Let me see if I can't. Okay, 
that's not too bad. Let's see. Oh, and again, in case you guys missed it earlier uh, because my microphone was not turned on, which is part of the course for me live streaming. Um, <laughs> um, Secret Comics presents the comic book that I I've been drawing over the past uh, several months is uh, has now been printed. It, um, I sent it. It was uh, sent to the printers about a week and a half ago. It was delivered. To Nasser on Friday, last Friday, and Nasser is now in the process of mailing and packaging all the uh, all the books to the backers of the campaign. So, if you bought a copy or copies of Secret Comics Presents, you should be receiving them fairly shortly. Uh, you will definitely receive them by the beginning of October, or I would say, you know the Beginning the toward, beginning of October is when you should be getting it. I would say like the first week or so of October. At you know, uh, unless you live in another country like Canada or someplace else, then it might take longer. But Nasser's been bagging and boarding and uh, mailing out a lot of copies um, the past few, couple days, and uh, so he's 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 getting through it. The the people who ordered original art from me like this, like this drawing here, um, you'll be getting your books, you know, soon as well, but a little later, because I need to get, once I get the drawings done, I need to mail these drawings to Nasser, and then Nasser will be including putting these drawings in the package with the comic book. So it will take a little longer than, uh, than, uh, than usual. So... But you you'll still get it probably by my you know sometime in early October. So just a heads up. Let's see here. Now I notice my music is turned off. I'm not sure why. Uh huh. Apparently, the music has died. Like, uh, Bye Bye Miss America Pie. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see if I can reboot it. Or if it died like my tablet. There we go. Hopefully, it will reboot with minimal fuss and muss. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Uzak. Uzak. Playlists. Let's see. Um. <laughs> It's 10.58 right now. I kind of, I should probably get going because I am getting pretty tired and I don't want to mess this up. So I think I'm going to sign off. And I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll be back tomorrow and uh, continue working on this and probably start the next one. Um, but this is, a uh, this is Nasser Abadi wearing a Soy Rage t-shirt. And this is one of the commissions that, uh, you know, uh, one of the backers from Secret Commerce Presents requested I draw. So, you know, it looks like Nasser and it's, you know, I think it's kind of funny. It'd be cool if Nasser did get a Soy Rage t-shirt. That'd be hilarious. So, but anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the Boomerang box. Thanks for looking at my other unboxings for this live stream. Um, and again, look in the, in the description below. 
make sure to subscribe to John Diller's channel and make sure to uh, when you click that link make sure that you post a comment uh, in the uh, comment section that way you will be in the running to win that boomerang box filled with comics and original art and other stuff that that's been put in it uh, like I said before I will be putting a copy of secret secret comics presents that I've signed and um, I'll put a original sketch inside uh, so you guys uh, you know you guys can have that if you're interested but anyway everybody thanks for watching uh, again, my name is Jason Robinson. This is Illustration by Design. And uh, yeah, you guys take care. I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks and uh, have a good night. Bye.